Hello everyone. My name is Pooja Pandita and I have completed my master's in medical microbiology. From the past 1.5 years I have been associated with academic writing as well as academic research and helping students overseas. Today we'll be discussing a very interesting topic which is wearable technology in healthcare. In this presentation we will be discussing what is the benefit of wearable technology and what all uh, what all nurses can uh, what all nurses can do to engage themselves in this new technology for uh, ensuring patient health and safety. Wearable devices are become popular in advanced healthcare systems where it will support the healthcare workers in the remote patient management using digital technology. The devices can support patient surveillance, screening, diagnosis, treatment, post treatment and continuing care. These gadgets have been used uh, with the help of real time physiological input to evaluate and validate treatment efficacy. Wearable technology can be customized to assist the user in keeping a record of their health options and meeting their goals. This will support the healthcare workers, providers to go to a ways away toward eliminating the risk of life limiting illness and thereby improving the quality of life. However, various barriers exist that can limit the effective implement of modern digital technology. So in this presentation we will be discussing what are the barriers facilitators and strategies of wearable technology so to begin with uh, we'll first discuss what all are the barriers so the first and most important barrier in the in the use or, or in the application of this wearable technology is older curriculum nursing professional education has been has not been upgraded since decades and has been following the older versions of theoretical knowledge there is a need that healthcare educators to include the current and innovative information in the curriculum the education must transform from basic acquiring knowledge to the need to establish competence among the students both graduates uh, undergraduates as well as post graduate education it will support the student healthcare professionals to upgrade their knowledge based on advanced digital wearable technology healthcare professionals are required to receive education to reflect their skill in different technology and incorporate of technology that can be used in learning and innovation platform the other very essential barrier is based on practical based knowledge and theory into practice the adequate application of modern wearable devices require not only the theoretical knowledge rather engage hands on experience to reflect the outcomes and patient feedback the healthcare professionals education system focused more on the theoretical knowledge therefore the healthcare professionals lack the critical thinking problem solving learning skills and other psychomotor enhancing skills moreover the lack of simulation based education also limiting the current application of this interpretation of uh, digital visceral medical education must develop methods these now technologies to convert education into a more cooperative customized or motivating approach for both under understanding the new world of digital healthcare the less practical knowledge will not allow the current application of evidence based knowledge into practice which is a priority to understand and interpret the data received from these wearable devices so the other barrier is based on privacy concerns and cultural issues most of the healthcare professionals believe that the use of wearable technology can misguide the clinicians and can even risk the loss of personal information compromising patient confidentiality however most of the data from wearable devices can be stored and processed in an encrypted mode which means that the data will remain safe and secure moreover the cultural notions of the healthcare professional is also restricting them to make themselves familiar with this new digital world they also remain faced with the notion that advanced patient care technology will replace the human resources with digital technology which thereby do not participate more in receiving education so the nurses must need to dissolve their notion of uh, not being participating in the advanced healthcare technology and by keeping their personal preferences aside and uh, thereby supporting the patient healthcare and advance by uh, encouraging the advanced healthcare systems So apart from these barriers there are few facilitators which encourage the use of this wearable technology the first facilitator will uh, is based on favorable providers and easy monitoring 
and the studies have suggested that more than 50% of the healthcare professionals are in favor of wearing uh, wearable technology and help them monitor their patients they use commercial or personal grade wearable to monitor medications to check medical conditions and vitals and monitor post operative individuals rehabilitation these all are the benefits that this wearable technology will provide and the healthcare professional also believe that active wearable devices will allow the accurate monitoring of patients in a virtual mode even from the remote places so this will add to the benefit of this wearable technology moreover it will also enable more patient engagement by reducing admissions and healthcare cost so this is very important benefit of the wearable technology and thereby pull, can pull the nurses to uh, engage themselves in this new technology so the next facilitator is based on safe way of communication and, uh, and autonomy these wearable technology are more supported by the effective communication the wrist devices can detail the health related information which needs to be translated into simpler terms to the to to uh, get understand by the user population the education systems are now focusing on communication ways to engage patient based on verbal as well as non verbal communication along with active listening patient engagement in um in healthcare decisions will also protect patient right and justify autonomy it means that all the data will remain protected and in in a way it will uh, ensure uh, uh, data confidentiality and thereby justify autonomy so further the facilitator uh, is based on virtual reality Uh, we know that the recreation of setting or items as a complex software image is known as to the technology simulations this vr stands for virtual reality the computer screen in vr simulation represents the real objects and the change effectively with computer within that modeled which means virtual world a number of virtual reality systems have been used in medical education that promotes a user friendly environment with the modern devices in future practice as well as in the current scenario as well which means these software will change uh, as as per the needs of the patients as per the needs of the patients as well as will depend on the chronic conditions and will provide the images uh, which will have help the nurses as as well as the doctors in patient assessment so the other strategy is based on use of digital learning platforms the use of computer assisted lesson for medical students make uh, makes learning more effectively the use of classroom instruction in which learners review or online lectures before to the classroom lecture can go to the uh, the, the the students can uh, even before uh, learn even before going to the classroom for an informed decision with and then further can make an informed discussion with the teachers technology and assisted learning will save the time and make familiar with the virtual aspects of the clinical care of the student level moreover the use of mobile application can make them more acquainted with the benefits and negative aspects of the modern wearable technology further the healthcare professionals will be able to engage wearable devices for patient monitoring in an effective way so uh, the sim- simulation based knowledge is also a very uh, effective strategy that can be used by the nurses technology assisted simulations can help students to develop a variety of education objectives the goal of simulation is to um, uh, mirror patient health or clinical duties as well as to reflect the real world circumstances in which the healthcare services are available in support of modern wearable devices feedback repeatability curriculum integration and a variety of levels of difficulty multiple learning strategies and clinical thinking uh, and the ability to define outcomes or standards are among learning characteristics identified using simulations these all uh, approaches can be done with the help of simulations the wearable de- devices make more false alarms about patients how our skill professionals will be able to include critical knowledge and acknowledge the appropriation of these indicators so in case if the patient is showing 
a kind of symptom the evidence uh, the nurse who has received an evidence based knowledge and has also received the theoretical knowledge will be able to detect all those um, signs and symptoms and thereby uh, will make a prompt diagnosis about the condition by providing an effective care plan so to conclude we can say that knowledge decision making pers- perceptual variety skills coordination and a learning setting that interests the students and allows learning which does not risk the patient are all advantages of this modern education system using wearable technology offers the added benefits of being able to uh, monitor the patients uh, from remote areas and surveillance as well as provide healthcare professional at any stage with the ability to access the patient information required to promote patient centered quality care thereby we can conclude that this technology uh, with the help of this technology the nurses can monitor the patients at a distance and thereby uh, can ensure a safe uh, designing of a safe care plan with respect to the patient uh, and as per the patient needs and preferences to increase their safety as well as a well being so these all are the references that were used to design this presentation so uh, we can say that this presentation will ensurely help the students to gain a better access what are the benefits uh, and what are all the facilitators as well as barriers in this wearable technology and thereby pull the nurses uh, in this new world of advanced use or advanced uh, technology to support patient health thank you and have a nice day